This is a quick video um, about the Miniatures rule set, uh, Drums and Shako's Large Battles. Um, it's uh, available as a booklet or, or you can download it as a PDF um, for um, at nine US dollars at present, which is about nine um, euros, that's including the tax. Um, it's based on the Song of Blades and Heroes uh, skirmish engine written by Andreas Vidaligoy. Um, these rules, so, so it originally it was a skirmish um, system and um, been upgraded to, this is a divisional level game, so we've got a division versus a division. Um, for my games of miniatures tryouts, I don't have any miniatures, so I use um, cardboard cutouts, so... Um, or in fact cardboard chits here. So you see these ones here representing artillery, there's lion formation, uh, skirmishers here, this is a commander, and so forth. Um, now um, I'm going to demonstrate how the system works with some examples and just uh, briefly talk about the system. It's uh, the, essentially the um, the key to the system is uh, the activation system, and uh, at any time, um, when it's it's a fluid uh, game turn, so there's no game turns as such, so you just, um, one side goes first, and what you can then do is you can decide to try for one activation, two activations, or three. And everything is activated according to its uh, quality number. So if so you have a leader at quality 3, he activates on a 3 or higher on D6. If you take a single um, unit, which for example could be this battery or this um, I think it's a battalion, this battalion of infantry, their quality is 4, that's 4 as well. So they would activate on a 4 or higher on D6. Now you decide between 1 and 3 activations. So you can either go for the 1... Obviously, you might miss, um, but um, the the point is is that for every miss you make, your opponent has an attempt at an activation. So, say I'd missed that, my opponent here, um, if I I rolled one die, missed the activation, my opponent could then roll for his against his quality rating, and bam, he gets an activation before I do. But then it switches back to me, so he just has a reaction. Now, obviously, if I roll two dice, I could get two failures. But if I get two activations, then I could do two actions before my opponent could do any activations. And similarly with three dice as well. Now, the downside of, of um, rolling more than one die is that if you roll two or three failures, then um, your, uh, your brigade activation is finished. So essentially what we have here is uh, a division on a side with two brigades and a reserve. Um, and uh, if I'm at, if this is my first brigade and I get two or three failures on the die, so my opponent has uh, two or three reaction attempts, and then um, I go to, that's that brigade is finished. So even if I just activated the first unit of that brigade, then I go to my next brigade, start activating that. Maybe I get failures, and then I, my turn's ended, and it goes over to my opponent, and then I have the opportunity to react to his activations if he has failures. That's how the game flows. Um, one thing you can do is a leader can do a group activation. So the leader can activate himself one, two or three times. And then that will activate all units within his um, uh, brigade that are within his command range. You need a range stick like this. We've got various ranges marked upon it. And um, they can do the number of actions that he succeeded at. But when you do a group activation like that, you can't move into an approach, which is essentially an attack move and uh, one or two other things. So that's essentially how the system works like that. 